friends welcome to es tech center youtube channel in this video i would like to show you how to interface arduino in proteus that means how you can simulate arduino in proteus basically proteus doesn't have arduino that's why we need to configure arduino in proteus for this how you are downloading proteus and how you are downloading arduino and install it on your pc as well how you are configuring arduino in proteus all these things let us see in this video okay now first of all let us download your arduino which is very compatible with proteus for this go to google okay so simply uh, type Arduino in Proteus. Okay. See like this. Arduino in Proteus. Okay. And you will get one link like this, right? Okay, I'm getting into Google. Then you need to type over here. So this is your link, okay? This is your link, right? Just click on this link How oh, it is getting and connecting to that one Yes, Arduino library for Proteus Okay, and then come down Come down There is one download link is there This is your download link You can find over here is your download link when you click over here it will download okay just click on it and your Arduino library for Proteus is getting downloading see this is your software okay that means Arduino library for Proteus okay now just close your browser and go to downloads go to downloads and here you can find Arduino library for Proteus okay now you want to ex extract over here like and extract here here I got two files okay so I got two files from zip file and these two okay these two files right okay now let us move to Proteus and this is Proteus software and opening Proteus software so open it and take any uh, one example project like or you can create your own new project so this is my already existing project so for that to add your Arduino library to Proteus and here there is a one icon is there Okay, P is the pickup pin component and the L is the library, right? So just click on this. Okay, when you click on library file and it is opening. Okay, whatever the libraries you want to add, just simply click it and add it like this. Then it will come this side. Okay, so here one more option is there. 
so check out here create library right create library right so to add your arduino library to proteas then you need to click on here okay right click on here then it is opening library folder of proteas then already you have two files in your download section i will show you download section and these two files are there this one and this one simply copy these two files okay copy copy these two files right copy and paste over here and open it and paste over here right okay right and close it so here you can find these two uh, library files Okay, Arduino library. Right? And after this, save it. Okay. Actually, I have two files already. That's why if you want to replace it. No problem. Click on no. No. If you don't have these files in your library folder, then you need to save it and close it. And this is a so then you can go to schematic diagram click on p and simply you can type arduino over here arduino then you you can get different boards over here like arduino mega 1280 arduino mega 2560 and arduino you know R3. usually most of the people they are using Arduino you know for their applications so that's why you can get this component like this the board structure over here simply click on here or ok click on ok right then you can get your Arduino ok whatever it is where you, where you want keep it and simply click over here ok so this is the way how you are configuring your Arduino with Proteus. Now to run this Arduino you need to load your hex file. Okay, so according to your program your hex file is working on this board. Okay, after writing your program in uh, Arduino IDE then you need to take your hex file and dump it into the board. Okay, for this let us uh, double click on this board double click on this board right here there is a uh, folder option is there here there is a folder option is there okay if you click on here folder then it is asking where is your x file that means it is uh, showing your path where is your x file okay so for that just close it This is the process how you are loading your X file into the Proteus. Okay, so now open your Arduino. Open your Arduino. Okay, so this is my code. Okay, so this is the simple code to blink your LED and LED pin to etc. So and for that, basically, if you want to generate the X file in Arduino, go to File and select Preferences. Go to File and select Preferences. Then 
then you will get this this window and this window you can select okay compilation you can tick mark on compilation okay so after this you can close this okay and go to sketch and here there is one more option is there to to export your compiled binary file okay for that click over here this is the export compiled binary file okay right sketch and export then your program is compiling right yes it is and you need to complete yes okay the compilation process is completed okay now come come back right so the x file has been stored in your project location that means your project where your project have been saved for that let us go to in my pc i have saved my project LED, LED blink. Okay, so this is my project location. Okay, I have two X files. One is LED blink uh, standard dot hcx. Other one is LED blink with uh, built-in bootloaders. Okay, if you want to download your bootloader with X file, you can do. You can dump this uh, file. That's bootloader dot standard dot hcx. Or if you don't want to bootloader, then you can dump this file, or you can load this file. Okay, so right now I don't want to take a bootloader, so that's why LED blink dot you know dot standard. I can select this file. Okay, this one is right. Okay, now open your Proteus and double click on your file and select your x file where it is okay then go to your folder <coughs> examples led test led blink okay so i have selected the top one right this one okay now click on it and open right or double click on x file right it has been loaded right okay now click on okay so check out here it is loaded right into proteus okay click on okay right now you have to run your proteus for this you have to run your proteus for this you have to click over here See, check out here the LED is blinking okay LED is blinking you can see that on and off okay in similar way whatever the program you want to run in Proteus using Arduino you can write like this okay so this is the process how you are loading your X file into the Arduino 
or how you are simulating your Arduino into proteins. Okay, this is the simple way you can run your LCD program or you can run your ultrasonic or you can send the data from Arduino to GSM, GPS. Okay, so whatever the module if you, you want to simulate in Proteus, this is the only process to add your library to Proteus as well to run your program using Arduino. Okay, so this is the simple way you can so the beginners who are starting the program for Arduino and if you don't have a customized hardware right now with you, you can this is the simple method to check your check your program whether it is running or not or is there any bugs okay like that right thank you so much Welcome to ES Tech Center YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to interface Arduino in Proteus. That means how you can simulate Arduino in Proteus. Basically, Proteus doesn't have Arduino. That's why we need to configure Arduino in Proteus. For this, how you are downloading Proteus and how you are downloading Arduino and install it on your PC as well how you are configuring Arduino in Proteus all these things let us see in this video okay now first of all let us download your Arduino which is very compatible with Proteus for this go to Google okay so simply uh, type Arduino in Proteus okay see like this Arduino in Proteus okay And you will get one link like this, right? Okay, I'm getting into Google. Then you need to type over here. So this is your link. Okay. This is your link, right? Just click on this link. Connecting to server. Yes, Arduino library for Proteus. Okay. Then come down. Come down. There is one download link is there. This is your download link. You can find over here. your download link when you click over here it will download okay just click on it and your Arduino library for Proteus is getting downloaded see this is your software okay that means Arduino library for Proteus Okay, now just close your browser and go to downloads. Go to downloads, and here you can find Arduino library for Proteus. Okay, now you want to ex extract over here, right? Extract here. Here. I got two files okay so I got two files from zip file and these two okay these two files right okay now let us move to Proteus Where I'm opening Proteus 
some frame open it and take any uh, one example project right and you can create your new project so this is my already existing project so for that to add your Arduino library to Proteus and here there is a one icon is there the pickup pin component and the L is the library right so just click on this okay then you click on library file and it is opening okay whatever the libraries you want to add just simply click it and add it like this then it will come this side okay so here one more option is there so check out here create library right create library right so to add your Arduino library to Proteus then you need to click on here okay right click on here then it is opening library folder of Proteus then already you have two files in your download section I will show you download section and these two files are there this one and this one simply copy these two files okay copy copy these two files right like this Save it. and copy copy and paste over here and open it and paste over here right okay right and close it so here you can find these two uh, library files okay add in library this save it okay actually I have two files already that's why if you want to replace it no problem click on no, no if you don't have these files in your library folder then you need to save it and close it and this is also then you can go to schematic diagram click on P and simply you can type Arduino get different boards over here like Arduino Mega 1280, Arduino Mega 2560 and Arduino Uno R3. Usually most of the people they are using Arduino Uno for their applications. So that's why you can get this component like this. The board structure over here. Simply click on here or uh, OK. Click on OK. Right? then we can get your Arduino okay whatever it is where you, where you want to keep it and simply click over here okay so this is the way how you are configuring your Arduino with Proteus now to run this Arduino you need to load your hex file okay so according to your program your hex file is working on this board okay after writing your program in Arduino IDE then you need to take your X file and dump it into the board okay for this let us uh, double click on this board double click on this board right here there is a uh, folder option is there here there is a folder option is there okay if you click on here folder then it is asking where is your X file that means it is uh, showing your path where is your X file okay so for that just close it and this is the process how you are loading your X file into the Proteus okay 
so now open your Arduino open your Arduino okay so this is my code okay so this is the simple code to blink your LED and LED pin to etc so and for that basically if you want to generate the X file in Arduino go to file and select preferences go to file and select preferences References. then you will get this, this window on this window you can select okay compilation you can tick mark on compilation okay so after this you can close this okay and go to sketch and here there is one more option is there to to export your compiled binary file okay for the click over here this is the export compiled binary file okay right sketch export then your program is compiling right right so the X file has been stored in your project location that means your project where your project have been saved for that let us go to in my PC I have saved my project in So this is my project location okay i have two x files one is led blink uh, standard dot hcx other one is led blink with uh, built-in bootloaders okay if you want to download your bootloader with x file you can do you can download this uh, file that's bootloader dot standard dot hcx or if you don't want to bootloader then you can down this file how you can load this file okay so right now i don't want to take a bootloader so that's why led blink dot you know dot standard i can select this file okay this one is right okay now open your proteus and double click on your file and select your x file where it is okay then go to your folder LED test, LED blink. Okay, so I have selected the top one, right? This one. Okay. Now click on it and open, right? Or double click on X file, right? It has been loaded, right? Okay. Now click on OK. So check out here is loaded right into Proteus okay click on ok right okay. now you have to run your Proteus for this you have to run your Proteus for this you have to click over here
see check out here the LED is blinking okay LED is blinking you can see that on and off okay in similar way whatever the program you want to run in Proteus using Arduino you can write like this okay so this is the process how you are loading your x file into the Arduino or how you are simulating your Arduino into Proteus okay this is the simple way you can run your LCD program or you can run your ultrasonic or you can send the data from Arduino to GSM GPS okay so whatever the module if you, you want to simulate in proteus this is the only process to add your library to proteus as well to run your program using arduino okay so this is the simple way you can so the beginners who are starting the program for arduino and if you don't have a customized hardware right now with you you can this is the simple method to check your check your program whether it is running or not or is there any bugs okay like that right thank you so much